Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Oh my goodness. It is Friday. Happy Friday. It's Friday the 7th. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. I'm drinking out of my disciple mug. That's one of my designs on there. I had a on a, a coffee mug. Anyway, let me know if you're interested in get, getting you one. I can send you a link. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee this morning. I, I believe I'm having Texas pecan. Good stuff. All right. Well, this morning from the Revised Common Lectionary, by the way, check the links on the video. There'll be some links to our church website and uh, where you can get the Revised Common Lectionary and the Pray Now app. Uh, this morning, we're going to uh, Psalms and then back to Isaiah and then back to Acts. So uh, let's see what the Lord has to say this morning. Oh, I don't have airplane mode turned off, <clears throat> so I couldn't get to it. But now I'm hooked to the Internet. So let's try this again. All right. And here we go. And once again, I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Psalm 98. And here we go. Let me get a little coffee first. I also have this design on a t-shirt. Love it. So, anyway, here we go. Psalm 98. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Here we go. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. All right. This is my second cup of coffee this morning. I've been up for about an hour or so. I was doing some freelance work. So, all right, here we go. Uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning is Isaiah chapter 42, verses 5 through 9. So, <clears throat> thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it, and the spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you. I will give you as a covenant for the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other, nor my praise to carved idols. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. I like that. I like, I like that in verse 8. It says, I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Amen. Amen. All right. The New Testament lesson this morning. We're going back to Acts. Hang on. Oh, excuse me. We're going to Acts chapter 10, verses 34 through 43. <clears throat> So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. As for the word that he sent to Israel, preaching good news of peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all, <clears throat> you yourselves know what happened throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee after the baptism that John proclaimed how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. 
He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. <clears throat> they put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and made him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who had been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. And this is the word of the Lord. Amen. Next we go to the Pray Now app and I'm going to read the prayer of the day. I love these prayers that the, the Pray Now app does. So here we go. Let us pray. O oh Lord, you have called us to enter your kingdom through the narrow door. Guide us by your word and spirit and lead us now and always into the feast of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 I'd like to read the morning prayer <clears throat> as well. Let us pray. Faithful God, whose mercies are new to us every morning, we humbly pray that you would look upon us in mercy and renew us by your Holy Spirit. Keep safe our going out and our coming in and let your blessing remain with us throughout this day. Preserve us in your righteousness and grant us a portion in that eternal life which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. All right. <clears throat> well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Have an awesome weekend. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.